Do we humbly seek God's mercy and show mercy to others? A blessed Saturday, brothers and sisters. This is our reflection question for today. Holy Spirit, make my heart open to the Word of God. Make my heart open to goodness. Make my heart open to the beauty of God. So many holy persons seemed to die young. Among them was Dominic Savio, the patron of choir boys. Born into a peasant family at Riva, Italy, young Dominic joined St. John Bosco as a student at the oratory in Turin at the age of 12. He impressed Don Bosco with his desire to be a priest and to help him in his work with neglected boys. A peacemaker and an organizer, young Dominic founded a group he called the Company of the Immaculate Conception, which, besides being devotional, aided John Bosco with the boys and with manual work. All the members, save one, Dominic, would in 1859 joined Don Bosco in the beginnings of his Salesian congregation. By that time, Dominic had been called home to heaven. As a youth, Dominic spent hours wrapped in prayer. His raptures he called my destructions. Even in play, he said that at times it seems heaven is opening just above me. I am afraid I may say or do something that will make the other boys laugh. Dominic say, I can't do big things, but I want all I do, even the smallest thing, to be for the greater glory of God. Dominic's health, always frail, led to lung problems and he was sent home to recuperate. As was the custom of the day, he was bled in the thought that this would help, but it only worsened his condition. He died on March 9, 1857, after receiving the last sacraments. St. John Bosco himself wrote the account of his life. Some thought that Dominic was too young to be considered a saint. St. Pius X declared that just the opposite was true and went ahead with his cause. Dominic was canonized in 1954. His liturgical feast is celebrated on March 9. Scripture warns us that God opposes the proud but gives grace to the humble. Jesus paints a vivid story of two men of prayer. What's the point or lesson he wants us to learn? Jesus warns us about the danger of despising others. Content is more than being mean-minded. It springs from the assumption that one is qualified to sit in the seat of judgment and to ascertain what is good and just. Jesus' story caused offense for those who regarded tax collectors as unworthy of God's grace and favor. How could Jesus put down a religious leader and raise up a public sinner? Jesus' parable speaks about the nature of prayer and our relationship with God. It does this by contrasting two very different attitudes towards prayer. The Pharisee, who represented those who take pride in their religious practices, exalted himself at the expense of others. Absorbed with his own sense of self-satisfaction and self-congratulation, 
he mainly prayed with himself. His prayer consisted of prideful boast of what he did and of disdain for those he despised. The Pharisee tried to justify himself, but only God can justify. The tax collector, who represented those despised by religious people, humbled himself before God and begged for mercy. His prayer was heard by God because he had remorse for his sins. He sought God with humility rather than with pride. This parable presents both an opportunity and a warning. Pride leads to illusion and self-deception. Humility helps us to see ourselves as we really are, and it inclines us to God's grace and mercy. God dwells with the humble of heart, who recognize their own sinfulness, and who acknowledge God's mercy and saving grace. God cannot hear us if we despise others. Do we humbly seek God's mercy and show mercy to others? Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and Spirit, Amen. Lord, may your love control our thoughts and actions, that we may do what is pleasing to you. Show us where we lack charity, mercy, and forgiveness toward our neighbors, and help us to be generous in giving to others what you have so generously given to us. Jesus, King of mercy, we trust in you. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and Spirit. Amen. God bless your families, brothers, and sisters. God bless our Catholic Church and couples for Christ.